what's that what's that phrase speak of the devil and he's presently at your shoulder or she in this case or she's presently at your shoulder that's true Setuf in Spain called in and wants to talk about I'm reading this it says is it possible that you currently hold any strong beliefs that are as obliviously illogical as Christianity is that what you wanted to talk about Setuf is that did I get that right Hi, Eric. Hi. Hi, Eric. Hi, v. Um, there was some typo, I think, in what you just read. Not obliviously, but obviously. Got, obviously. It. Got it. Okay. So I would first start off by saying that I don't think um, that Christians would view their beliefs as obviously illogical, and I know plenty of logical Christians. And so I wouldn't put it so negatively. Um, but if we kind of take that to the side and, and not say that it needs to be obvious, um, th- it, it, would the question then be, is it possible that we hold any strong beliefs that aren't true or are illogical? Would that be the question? Well, I'm saying obviously illogical, so according to your own view, do, would you say Christianity is obviously illogical? Um, not necessarily, no. No. Okay. I know, right? Logical? No, but I don't think it is obviously illogical. I think yeah. that there are versions of Christianity that seem very logical, especially if you don't dive super, super deep into things and it becomes part of your worldview, your uh, reality tunnel, as it were. <laughs> um, but I don't think I don't think don't. it's, oh, all Christians are obviously just being illogical. I think it takes study and it takes looking into to understand where that logic falls apart. But if you're asking if we have any strong beliefs that are or might be illogical, absolutely. Probably, yeah. yeah. Um, dang. I, trying I, to I, figure I, out what they are. Yeah, I've been, I've been on this weird you know, spiral around ethics and veganism for a while, and I don't know when I'm going to come out of that spiral. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> but um, you know, it, it's good to kind of have an, a, a good you know, understanding of it and at least you know, be prepared. What, what was there a specific place you wanted to take it, or did you just kind of want to get our opinion on whether or not we were open to it? Um, kind of both, and okay. yeah, it's funny that you mentioned um, veganism. I don't know if you've heard of the belief carnism. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. My understanding of it is that's what vegans call people who eat meat. Um, but then again, I, I could be wrong. I, w- when I heard it, it, sound, it made me laugh because it sounded like it was a way to try and be derogatory towards people who eat meat. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. How would you define carnism? Um, so would you define it? You, <laughs> sorry, um, that's quite funny how you said it now. So would you define carnism as how vegans um, describe non-vegans? <laughs> Uh, is that the definition that we are going by? No, well, that, 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 that's how I've encountered it. That, like, like I could be, I could be totally wrong, but okay. in my experience, it was like, oh, those fucking carnists. You know, I was like, oh god, okay, they have a new name for me. <laughs> that, what is the definition? Yeah, enlightens you. Um, well, carnism is just a belief system because I think you'll agree that all our actions are fundamentally dictated by what we believe. <clears throat> and anyway, carnism is the belief system that um, makes people eat certain animals, but not others, right? Like we will Ooh. eat pigs, but not cats and dogs. Interesting. And um, oh my this gosh. is basically a sub-belief of speciesism. So yeah. the notion of discriminating others based on how they look. Ah, well, they're based on what species they are. I, so I, well, so, yeah. Also, also how they look well, because we don't eat look. other carnivores yeah. because of the way their faces are. We think they're cute versus herbivores. We tend to not True. have that connection with. True. But I, yeah, okay. Uh, that is a very helpful definition, Satif. Um, that is. I'm. I don't know if I call it a mm-hmm. belief system in the same way that I wouldn't call most things belief systems. I would call it a worldview or or a or a perspective. Um, but yeah, uh, that's definitely something that exists for, for sure. Uh, yeah. Where are we going with this? Uh, 
Satur, are you still there? Um, oh, okay. No, just, yeah, yeah. No, um, I mean, I was just defining it because you asked me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm happy that you now <laughs> know a better definition. Absolutely. more accurate <laughs> definition of carnism. Yeah, that's, I, it's, it's funny. It definitely gives me more information, but it still feels like, I don't know. I don't know anybody who self-identifies as a carnist. Um, but well, I mean, when, when we first started, well, guess, to be I, fair, when we first started incorporating things like cisgender into the conversation, mm -hmm. nobody was self-identifying as cisgender before it True. was produced as like, hey, there are versions of this thing. You are this version. I am this version. True enough. And I could say that using that definition, I have effectively been a carnist. Yeah. And so... So, um, huh. I think, I think this is exactly why we would never, ever say that we do not have illogical beliefs because up until literally five minutes ago, I didn't know what carnism was. And now I can better analyze my own worldview and see if it slots in there and what the problems might be there. So yeah. always open to, to having our minds changed. And the, the, the fact that we are open this way, what we're hoping is that people watching will see that and go, you know what, I want to do that too. And they can follow that lead. Um, so, so Tuf, here's, here's the deal. I know that I think it was the last two or three times you called, you wanted to talk about veganism in particular. I feel like we need to give veganism more time, but a dedicated time because veganism is one of those topics where once you kind of open the gate, mm -hmm. people will call in every single day and they will fill up the lines. And then with this would be kind of become talk vegan. And I don't want that to be the crux of the yeah. show, but I would love to have maybe an, an episode or two Yeah, we could get some people it. on, um, fly some people out who yeah. are vegan atheists who can mm -hmm. identify with that side of things and kind of engage with that. Um, uh, that Satouf, that though, I, I do want to get back to the, the crux of why you called in today. Sure. Is there, is there anything you would like to build yeah. off of? Because we've admitted to you that there are probably places that we hold beliefs that are illogical and we are looking for ways to address those. So what's next? Yeah. So first off, I just want to clarify. Um, basically, veganism is to carnism what atheism is to religion. It's a non-action. When you are a vegan, you're not doing anything. You're just stopping to pay for animals to be killed. Okay, that's number one. And did you want to say something? Sorry. I, 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 I did. That kind of excludes ethical vegans. Like, I, I understand that being a, you know, one of them. But I would say that if you are an ethical vegan, then there's an extra step there. That it would be the stance that carnism, I'm trying to use your language, that carnism is immoral or unethical. Yeah. At which point I would compare that to anti-theism instead of atheism. Do you kind of get what I mean? That's a, yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah. 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 So. So, so, th so they're, yeah. they're, they're atheists who okay, view. I guess we can go there. Yeah. Well, well like, like they're atheists who view religion as. I mean, it's not directly analogous. Well, it, it, I'm, I'm trying to kind of do something a little bit more because, um, yeah. I, I, there, there are plenty of people who are anti-theists, and largely I've been an anti-theist. I've found that a lot of, you know, specific religious sects and fundamentalist groups are incredibly dangerous and have been dangerous and have a huge effect with, on us here in Texas in the United States. And so in that way, I have been an anti-theist. And so yeah. for me to just say, oh, I'm an atheist, I can see inaction. But once you kind of go, hey, you know what, that's immoral, that's unethical, and I'm standing up because that's unethical and immoral, I think that moves from atheism into anti-theism. And so if you're talking about veganism, I would want to make a split there between the non-action and the people who are doing that because, you know, they're making a stand against something that they felt immoral or unethical mm. or both. And I Okay, but um, uh, those people who think it's immoral, what they do is and non-action. They're I not mean, doing anything. I'm a vegan myself, and I wouldn't consider myself making any actions. I'm just not paying for animals to be killed. I'm not doing something rather than paying for them to be killed. Um, I, I, have, I have issues there just because 
we're talking about action versus non-action, and that corresponds possibly more to religious versus non-religious, right? I can actively go to church, or I can n decide not to spend money going to church, right? And that those are actions. Uh, I don't, again, like, I, okay. I don't know about the, the difference between belief system and action versus inaction. I think we're using both, and it's getting kind of kind of fuzzy. And I don't know if I'm prepared to have that conversation in a meaningful way. I think that you've given us some language that V and I are going to talk about and maybe be a little bit better in, in having those kinds of discussions. I think that when we do kind of the bulk of those discussions, we'll announce it. Um, but hopefully that'll help us talk about things in a way that, you know, we can understand each other better. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, maybe that's not directly analogous. I'll, I'll, I'll grant that. But just to answer V's question of where, where to from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, I would say from what you could do is maybe make your own research and really find out um, what is this carnism thing and what, what is really veganism and does it really align with your own um, ethical views? Because in my um, view, animal rights is just a logical extension of human rights. So if you believe in human rights, the logical extension of that is to be vegan, in my view. So I would just say just research it and make your own conclusion you well, know because we've been indoctrinated into the system where it's nobody's fault but it's just a habit what a deadly habit well yeah it certainly is a cultural thing you go to india and there are v vegan and vegetarian options at every fast food restaurant because that's their culture mm -hmm. and it's not a weird thing or a new thing it's just how how that culture lives and we have a, a culture where that's not the case. So it yeah. does need, there does need to be some deprogramming there. My question becomes, there it comes with that a lot of ethical conclusions that I don't know if my worldview supports. So I am gonna go and think about this more. This is a conversation we've continued to have. Um, but yeah, thanks for calling in, Satif. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Take care, <laughs> have thank a good rest so of your day. Thank you so much for the respectful talk as always. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> we both Bye. did it. Bye. We both did it that time. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing. If we're going to have, you know, that kind of discussion, let it be with someone who's going to um, listen to us, be charitable with us, give us the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. We can do the same the other way around. And I feel like there's so much more progress that can be had. And I am seeing in the in, in the live chat, these amazing, you know, people, are, some people are saying, oh, veganism is absolutely not, you know, please don't do veganism. There's nothing useful. And there's another half of people in the comments <laughs> who are saying, I really want to see that. I really want to see that. And because of that, I think the useful thing for us is to be, is to announce it. Mm -hmm. Because if we announce it, then if you are just like, oh my gosh, I don't want that, then you can skip a week. But if you are, you know, really wanting to see that, then we can give you the time to set your calendars. Um, and maybe depending on how well that goes, we can see what we can do in the future. But um, mm. it's definitely a really, really good idea. Also, I learned one other word today. I haven't heard it in a long time. Um, and because of that, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm relearning it. Petty fogging. Petty fogging. Petty fogging. Okay. Being uselessly, needlessly pedantic to kind of obfuscate, obscure, or prevent the moving forward of conversation. Um, at the beginning of this episode, I was pettifogging, and so was my interlocutor, and it was hilarious. And I've got to tell you, we should I have just a graphic that comes up with those <laughs> with like pettifogging. Just I, like <laughs> I don't know. I, it, it's it it it's hilarious and accurate, and also I don't know. I, I think that I had um, actually no. I I have some really good friends. One of whom. Um, his, his phrase was, you know, let your pedantic flag fly, you know, especially when you're talking about philosophy. Um, it's okay, you know, because the more you dial in on your definitions, the more useful of a conversation you can have, the better communicator you can be. And, um, I, I totally understand that. And I will try to, do that in a measured way. But I did think I was doing that for a good reason. But I understand the the uh someone mentioned that they didn't they might not tune in for a skeptic generation episode, but they might tune in for like a versus 
episode on veganism. I don't think you and I should be the person to no, do that. No, we would definitely have somebody with Who's us. Who's a vegan. Yeah, and we yeah. would have that conversation with someone else, with callers who could call in and give their two cents. Maybe that's a better format for that. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, definitely if it was both of us, neither of us being vegans, talking about that subject, that would just be, that, that, that strikes me as, I would feel like an asshole. Yeah, for sure. Doing that. 